Hello, this is a quick video to show you how you can install and use Screencastify um, as a Chrome extension, um, whether that's you using this on your own personal device or a Chromebook itself. So first way to access the Chrome Web Store would just be to search for the Chrome Web Store. I can also go to my three dots at the top right um, and then go down to more tools and then choose extensions. And from here, it'll show you all the different extensions you've already got installed, like I also already have Screencastify. Um, but if I go up to the top left here and then choose Open Chrome Web Store, um, it would then just be a case of searching for Screencastify. And then if I press Enter, it'll then pull up all these extensions in a second, I hope. And it's just this one at the top, which we already click on. And then you will choose the option to install. So just now I've got the option to remove here, but you'll choose install instead. What that will then do is you'll see up here, I've got the little logo. So if I click on this, it'll come up with a little option menu. Um, okay, we've changed the settings. That's always good to know. Um, and then it's just a case of choosing what you want to share. So for me just now, I'm sharing my whole desktop. We can have the microphone on or off. We can also include to have the webcam. Um, if you want a little picture yourself, we've got a countdown happening. We've got drawing tools and you can choose whether you want the system audio. So if you imagine if you're showing maybe a little clip of a video, you'd want that audio to be played over you speaking. Whereas little noises you hear in the background, you might not want that as much. When I'm ready, I then just click record and it will hopefully give me a countdown. Okay, I'm going to do the entire screen. And I'm actually gonna cross that off. You don't need to see me too much. Um, and then I click share, we get the three, two, one countdown. And this is me recording now live. When I'm finished, all I do is I come back up to that little logo, I click on it. And then what I would hope is that there is the option to stop. Oh no, something's gone wrong here. There we go, this came up and offered the option to stop. So there I can pause it again, like, like in other videos, pause it and then it'll give me time to do other things. I can restart it if I want. So then that opens in a new tab that'll look something like this and it'll automatically start playing. Um, and you'll then see straight away over on the right, we've got the option to either download it as a video for them to share elsewhere, or we do have various options to share it here, whether you want to publish it to YouTube, share it to a classroom, or get a code to put onto a site or whatnot. Um, there is an editor function to this if you need to trim it, take bits out, um, which is really useful. And I'd say if you are using a Chromebook, this is a really good way to record what you're doing. Thanks for watching.